Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can add some options in your uh, menu um, button. So, in your settings, you might know it as. So, if you go to um, uh, resources menu and open up your menu main XML, and uh, you'll see this is the layout you get. So, it's just the settings. So, when you click on the settings, so when you click on this this uh, uh, icon here. Uh, you will have a uh, list of settings, options you can choose. Some people can, some on the, I know on the Samsung, uh, you have a menu button here. If you click on here, you menu items come up. So I'm going to show you how you can add uh, items on this, add, add to this list. Now for this example, for this, uh, this game that we've got running, I'm going to add load game, save game and new game. So uh, we can create a new, a new game if you want to reset this reset the stats or we can save um, our, our progress and then we can load it up at a later, a later stage if we wanted to so if we go to our menu main XML and let's just reformat this so we're just going to highlight that and control alt L and just lay that out slightly differently okay so this is this basic this title is what we see here settings so we can have whatever we want so what I'm going to do for this um, for this example is I'm going to actually have that same menu so when you click on menu it comes up with another drop down list and the reason why I'm going to do that is because this sounds only it might just be me but it only seems to be the same the only way I can I can get it to show icons next to description so for here settings what I want to do is have a little icon it's not really important but it's just something I wanted to do and we can add a an icon can actually add an icon but for some reason on some some devices the icon doesn't show up on my device on my Samsung device it does but if you if you have a, a, a device that looks like this where you bring up your menu icon menu menu list using this uh, this this button here this menu icon here and you get this drop down list for some reason it doesn't show up the icon and I can't figure out what it is um, the only way I can do it is to have a, a sub menu so in this case what I'm going to do is I'm going to have that say menu so when you click on menu another drop down list appears that's the only way I can get it to work and I don't know what it is I'm doing wrong um, so if you know what I'm doing wrong then I appreciate it if you tell me but um, I can't I can't figure it out so I'm going to have this menu icon here so title titles menu um, so in this case we've got an ID it defaults to an ID of action settings now we can change that if, I'm going to change it to um, action menu so we have our menu uh, root tag here and then underneath the root tag we'll have an item we'll add an item uh, tag and obviously this is where all I where all our attributes go I'm going to leave um, adding a setting a string for these because we know all that uh, the need to add strings. I'm just going to leave that just for just to make it a little bit clearer. So I'm going to leave that. Now what what we're going to need to do here is I'm just going to delete that slash. But what I need to do now is I'm going to add Finish that item. Um, finish that item. <coughs> finish this item. Oh, there we go. So inside here, we're going to add another menu. So we get our um drop down sub menu and inside here we're going to add another item we're going to add an id at id and call this um menu save and then I'm going to give it a title 
of save and we're going to use a drawable. I'm going to use this icon I've got here that I've put in my drawable folder and just show you what it looks like. It's just this disk. Okay, so I'm going to use the uh, icon, type icon, at drawable, and it's going to be the, what's it called, save icon. So that's the icon I'm going to use. Finish off that tag. Right, I'm going to add another item. This item, I'm going to name, this is going to be my uh, load. So I'm going to call it menu load. And I'm going to give it a title, title load. And I'm going to use the icon, that drawable uh, load icon. And just finish off that. <coughs> and I'll create another item. And it's going to be a new game. ID, at ID, uh, uh, no, new, new menu, menu new, and title is going to be new game, and the icon is going to be a new game icon and finish off that tag. Okay, so we've got a menu inside another menu. So I've just tidied this up. Just tidy this up. There we go. Now, so if we run this see what happens ah yeah of course there's an error cannot find symbol variable action settings because in our main java um, we've got this method on options item selected and it's looking for the uh, for this id action settings which doesn't exist I changed it to action menu. So um, yeah, so where I, where I changed it in here to uh, ID action menu. Yeah, you go to Java a file and on options item select change that to action menu. So we run that now. So, if we click on here and then click on menu, we have this sub menu, and we've now got these icons just to represent what each one does. And at the moment, you click on them, nothing happens because we haven't defined what to do with them. So, what we need to do is define what it what we're going to do with each button here. So in this case, if we see this on option on item on options item selected, it's declared an int called ID, and that's going to be reference to whatever the this is item dot get item ID. So the item ID is the, basically the name of the but of the option that we select. So if we go back to our layout two. It's it's uh, not layout two menu menu main. It's it will be this this name here. What we want to do is we want to set up a, um, a a switch, a switch um, statement. So we get rid of this if statement because it's saying if this button is selected, then just return true. But we don't want that, so we get rid of that. We want to set up a switch, and 
depending on what oh, depending on what we uh, what what is selected, we're going to set it as RD. So whatever item is selected, then we'll execute the following. So if in the, if the case is R dot ID dot menu load. And we'll execute whatever's in here and then break. And if the case is r dot id dot menu save, then execute what's here. And then break. And then if the case is r dot id dot new menu menu new menu new so for new game then execute what's in here and then break and then return this return this super super class sum so just to check it works what we'll do is we'll have a toast we'll accept a toast um <coughs> what's up a toast? So toast make text and uh we'll just oh um we'll just get the application context um then comma and we'll have it say game oh game loaded successfully. And toast. Um, do we have this length? Specify the length. A uh, of a short, short toast. And we we'll just have it show. Hope we've got too many. Um, uh, show. So we do the same. Here, just have a toast, but this side was this time we say game saved successfully, and here we we'll just oh, and here we we'll just have new game loaded successfully. I suppose successfully, right? I don't think I have. There we go. So we run that, just make sure it works, make sure our buttons are function properly. Okay, so we click on menu and save. There we go, so it's toast. And load. Game loaded successfully. Menu new game. There we go. So we've set up a, we've set up our our options our menu options and we've added some um, some some icons and what we'll do in our next um, video is we'll actually get it to load and we'll get it to save and create a new game and as far as the loot um, the load and the save is concerned we'll be, that's when we'll be using our shared preferences which is, which uh, allows us to uh, save and load our games okay thanks for watching